Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day on WW. I'm excited to take you guys along with me today. I have some really exciting things to show you. I have a little haul. I have a new product that I found. I have so many fun things to show you in addition to my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, and my snacks. The dinner recipe, you guys, absolutely delish. Must make for the family. It is really, really good. My husband loved it. So if you want to see a little day in the life, some fun hauls, and of course what I eat on the WW Freestyle program, then just stay tuned. TJ Maxx haul for you that I wanted to share with you. So I went to TJ Maxx looking for fun plates and little bowls and things that I can use when I'm filming. So unfortunately they didn't have any plates. I'm going to have to check out Marshall's or Home Goods another day, but I did find a few fun things and ended up spending over $50. So you know how that goes. So the first thing I got and I love this is this absolutely gorgeous paper towel holder. I needed a new one. You can see it matches my counters perfectly. This was only $9.99. So not a bad price. It's gorgeous. It has a little marble knob and that really pretty marble base. So grabbed that. I also needed some new silicone whisks and this, these are perfect. These small ones are great for coffee, for baking. And these, you guys, you can't beat it. They were $2.99. So I grabbed a package of those. Also some Himalayan pink salt. This is the already ground kind and ground fine. This was on clearance for $2. So couldn't beat that. As soon as I'm out of the grinder, I'm going to go back to just the fine salt. It's a lot easier in videos if you don't have to grind it on the spot and you can just kind of pull it out of a bowl. So grabbed that. As you know, I love Ray Dunn, and uh, yes, this fits, girl boss. So this is definitely going to fit with some of the changes happening in my life that I'll be sharing with you guys shortly. So this was a great price, uh, $5.99. So I grabbed this awesome girl boss mug. I found these Pizzellis or Pizzells, I don't know how you pronounce them. It is five smart points for six cookies. So I'm not sure how many points it is per cookie. I'll put that here on the screen as well for you guys. But these were on clearance for $2.50. So I thought these would be fun as a dessert or just if you want a crunchy sweet treat. And then I did find these really cute little mini bowls. And as you know, my kitchen's gray and white. And I thought these will be perfect for when I'm doing my videos for my little spices and just small amounts of things during the video and these were only $5.99. So you can't beat that. I almost bought two packs, so I may have to go back. Let me see how much I like these. And then I found this, and this is just one of those kitchen gadgets that just caught my eye when I was at TJ Maxx. This is the Fresh Flip Avocado Pod. So supposedly this keeps your avocado fresh. So we'll see, it was $2.99, so I grabbed it. I'll let you guys know or remind me to let you know if it actually keeps your avocado fresh. And then of course I picked up dog treats. Now these, I buy these for my dogs all the time on Amazon. So if you didn't know, my dogs can't have chicken or grain. So finding treats is hard. They're usually really expensive. This was $9.99 and this same size bag, 16 ounces, I pay $15 on Amazon. So that's $5 less. So I grabbed that. If there would have been more than one bag, I would have grabbed more. That is such a good deal. And these are literally dried sweet potatoes. So 
one of the best treats you can give your dogs is whole foods kind of like what we can give our bodies right so i grabbed those and then also i saw these i thought they would love these these are the best bully sticks and these are literally just beef bully sticks are usually really expensive but these were only 4.99 so i grabbed those for my dogs as well of course they always get something so that is my little tj max haul so here is my delicious breakfast for today so i have two of my egg frittata muffin cups that i prepped in meal prep these are amazing you guys and you can have two muffin cups for only one smart point you cannot beat that these are full of sausage and cheese mushrooms and onions roasted red pepper so good these are absolutely a must make so if you haven't checked out my meal prep on this last monday make sure you check it out because this recipe is in there i'll put a little picture here on the screen of what the thumbnail looks like that way it's easy for you to find but must make recipe i'm also having some fresh blueberries i'm on a blueberry kick so i'm going to have a little bowl of those and then i'm going to have an everything bagel and these bagels are the Western Bagel Perfect 10 Plus, and this is the everything. These, you guys, are full-size bagels, and they are three smart points. That is it. So this entire bagel, all I did is add just a little bit of spray butter, is only three smart points. So these Western Bagels are fantastic. They have bagels ranging from one point, which is the baglet, all the way up to five points for the max. Traditionally, their bagels are all three points. The only one that is two points, that's full size, is this same perfect 10, but it's actually the multi-grain. That one is only two points. So you can use my code here on the screen to save 10%. They have some bundle deals that offer free shipping, and you can get 10% off those as well. But if you are a carb lover, if you are a bagel lover, if you want to have a bagel with your breakfast, I highly recommend Western Bagel. Check it out order your bagels. You'll be seeing me eat these a lot. I love them. This particular one is three smart points. And then in my mug here, I just have a cup of black coffee. Just needed a little extra coffee. So zero for the coffee, zero for the blueberries, one point for the frittata egg muffin cups, and three points for the bagel. This entire breakfast, you guys, four smart points. Diesel, it's 10 o'clock. Do you think maybe you want to get up today, buddy? No, he's in bed and someone else, let's go take a look at her. Someone else decided to dig out my covers again. That's why I put my blanket up there so she doesn't lay on it. Did you dig out mommy's covers? Did ya? Did you dig out mama's covers, babe? So 10 a.m. and these two. It is morning snack time, so I'm having my per the usual built bar. Today, I'm having the mocha chocolate cream. I love this flavor. If you haven't heard, Built Bar brought back the mocha chocolate cream and the mint brownie delight as permanent flavors. Yay, that is so exciting. So now you can order both the mocha chocolate cream and the mint brownie delight as they are permanent. They are also phasing out for a while, I don't know how long that's going to be, the strawberry and the lemon. So if you are huge fans of strawberry and lemon, hop on Built Bar right away and order those before they are gone. So the mocha and the mint brownie delight will replace the strawberry and the lemon in the sample pack. So. I love Built Bars. They are amazing. They taste like a candy bar. They have 15 grams of protein, 6 grams of fiber, 110 calories, and are a whole whopping three smart points. And they taste like a candy bar, but they keep you full. They are so incredibly good. I just took this one out of the refrigerator. I prefer them either refrigerated or frozen. Those are my favorite ways to eat them. So this is gonna be my morning snack. If you would like to purchase the Built Bar, use my code here on the screen to save 10% and get free shipping. Save my code because you can use it over and over again. Awesome. So order yourself some Built Bars. Now you can get the Mocha Chocolate Cream and the Mint Brownie Delight forever and ever. I'm about to cut up a watermelon and I wanted to show you a hack that I discovered that works really well. So whatever bowl you're gonna put your watermelon in, if you take the trivet from your Instant Pot or any type of trivet that holds your pieces of watermelon 
off of the bottom of your bowl, the juice can go down under the trivet and not soak into your watermelon. So your watermelon will last a lot longer. So this trivet is actually out of my Instant Pot. So just a quick watermelon hack to make that juicy, delicious watermelon last a lot longer. So here is my lunch for today. I am having one serving of these Tyson blackened chicken strips. I got these at Costco. You guys, these are so incredibly good. Zero smart points. You don't need any sauce. They have so much flavor. Seriously, so good. So I'm gonna have a serving of that. I have a slice of my zucchini bread that I made in my meal prep. That is three smart points. I have a bowl of watermelon, which is going to be my second fruit of the day. And then I have two thirds of a cup or one serving of the veggie made 100% vegetable pasta penne with cheddar cheese sauce. So that's what's left after one serving. It makes about two, two and a half servings per bag. And that is five smart points. This pasta is delicious. It tastes like legit mac and cheese. So I have five for the pasta, three for the zucchini bread zero for the watermelon, zero for the chicken. So this is an eight smart point lunch. So we're having a little special moment at our house. So we call this a special dinner when my dogs get canned food. It is something they don't get very often. This is their limited ingredient. They can, my dogs can't have grain or chicken. So this is the same food that they have. And this particular one is fish and potatoes. So this is what it looks like. So we call this a special dinner and they get very excited. So, do you guys want a special dinner? Okay, you need to sit. Nobody, so you need to sit. Good boy, Lola, come here. Lola, come here. Oh, yeah, square belly. Here you go, buddy. All right. So it is special dinner time at our house. She mows it so fast, he takes his sweet time. But yeah, the babies need a little spoiling today. I'm gonna have an afternoon snack. I have a lot of points left. And my dinner is seriously so low points. Wait till you guys see what we're having for dinner tonight. But I'm really liking these Nutrition Heart Health Power Squares. These things are so good. They have blueberries, almonds, cashews, and brown rice crisps. You can have 13 clusters for five smart points. So I'm gonna have six clusters for three smart points and that'll give me a little bit of added nutrition with the nuts and things and then the star of the show for snacks today is my healthy eating all the time and go bar and peanut butter protein these bars you guys are so delicious they are so filling like seriously these are amazing look at the ingredients oats peanut butter whey protein sunflower lectin sunflower seeds unsweetened coconut raw raw almonds raisins honey and coconut flour that's it simple uh, no artificial ingredients absolutely delicious power food this bar is six smart points i love these these are a great snack if you're looking for something to really hold you over for an extended period of time these are a must try the owner of the company is so sweet she offered you guys a discount of 12% if you use the code here on the screen. I don't have an affiliate link. I don't receive any kickback if you use the discount. She just wanted to offer my subscribers. I told them how amazing you guys are. She wanted to offer you guys just a little something to try her bars. So I highly recommend these. They're so good. So I'm gonna do six points for my bar, three points for some of these Nutrition Heart Health Squares. That is a nine smart point snack. For dinner tonight, I am making zucchini turkey burgers. I've made these before and I really wanted to share this recipe with you guys because it is so low point, like zero, and the burgers are amazing. So let me show you first what's in the turkey burgers and then kind of what we're gonna pair it with. So you're going to need some ground turkey. I'm gonna be using the 99% fat free. That makes it zero points. You'll need quite a few spices, some salt and pepper. You'll also need some garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, basil, some zucchini. So if you're doing one pound, I'd recommend two zucchinis. If you're gonna do more than one pound of turkey, I would double the zucchinis. And that's it for the burgers. And then I'm gonna pair them with spaghetti squash 
and this is the skinniest dish zero point crock pot marinara so i'm telling you you guys zero points for this dinner and it is incredible so let's get started on our burgers before i start on my burgers i'm going to go ahead and poke my spaghetti squash several times with a fork and i'm going to pop it into the microwave i find that cooking it in the microwave is the fastest so if you go ahead and poke it a few times with a fork Put it in the microwave until it's soft enough for you to cut in half, and then I just stick it back in the microwave. So I'll show you exactly how I cook my squash, and I find it to be the absolute fastest. You can normally entirely cook your squash in about 10 minutes or less in your microwave. So I'm gonna poke some holes, and I'm gonna get this in my microwave, and then we'll put together our turkey burger patties. For our burgers, you're going to need about a medium-sized bowl. The first thing I'm going to do is just use my zester here. It's my favorite way to do zucchini because I like that the zucchini gets really small bits. So I'm going to go ahead and zest both of my zucchinis just directly into my bowl here, and then we'll be ready to assemble the meat for our burgers. <music> just zesting one zucchini that is plenty for one pound of turkey burger so next we're going to go ahead and add in our turkey burger and this is one pound of course of the 99 percent and then we are going to add some seasoning so first we're going to start with salt we want about a half of a teaspoon of salt in our burger and then we are also going to add some black pepper and we want about a teaspoon of black pepper so a little bit more pepper than salt and of course you guys can do this to your taste some people want less salt no salt more salt whatever you want to do for your taste is perfect also i have some organic basil here we want two teaspoons of basil so i don't typically measure i just kind of wing my seasoning so two teaspoons of bagel basil bagels and then oregano we want one teaspoon of oregano as well and then we also have some onion powder and we want two teaspoons of onion powder and i'm telling you these burgers are so incredibly good you guys so good and lastly we have some garlic powder and we want one teaspoon of that now i recommend that you strip down and you put your hands in and you really mix that zucchini and that turkey together with your hands it's just really the fastest way to get it all mixed together get your spices all nice and combined and the reasoning for the zucchini is it makes your burgers extremely moist so it takes the dryness of the 99 percent lean ground turkey because it is pretty darn dry and it makes it juicy and moist you can't even taste the zucchini it looks really cool when they're cooked but it really just increases the moisture in your burger a lot so make sure that you're mixing really well and incorporating that zucchini in with all of your turkey burger go ahead and line a baking sheet with some parchment paper and we want to take our turkey burger mixture here and we want to create four patties so it is zero points this mixture but just try to make your patties as even as possible and it makes a nice big patty and it is so good i'm really excited to have this this is actually a jamie eason recipe and i found this on the bodybuilding.com website there's some really good healthy extremely low point recipes on that website so I, as you know i made her turkey salad a couple of weeks ago in meal prep she just has some really good recipes whole ingredients delicious low point recipes so definitely check out that website i will be linking this recipe down in the description box so i'm going to get my patties all nice and evened out and then i like to throw these in to the freezer for about 20 minutes or so to get them a little bit frozen not a lot just kind of partially frozen i feel that they hold their shape and cook up a little bit better that way so i'm going to go ahead and toss my turkey burger patties into the freezer but these look amazing i just pulled my squash out of the microwave it is hot but it is soft enough that we can go ahead and cut it look at that 
cuts right into it. It is over halfway cooked at this point as well. So this is just a really fast way to do your spaghetti squash, I couldn't think of the name for a second, versus having to go through the hassle of cooking it in the oven. Look at that, it's already partially cooked. So what I like to do is cut it in half. I'm gonna clean out the inside here and I'll show you what I do next. Once you've cleaned out your squash, I just take a plate and I just put my squash down face side down or open side down. And then I'm going to just cover it with a wet paper towel and throw it back in the microwave for about five more minutes. And voila, it's done. So I just pulled my spaghetti squash out of the microwave. Look at that, perfectly cooked. It was in there about eight minutes. So I'm gonna let it cool a little bit and then I'm gonna clean out the spaghetti squashes and I'm just gonna put it here in a bowl and we'll set it aside until our turkey burgers are done. Here's our shredded squash. I went ahead and just added a little bit of salt and pepper to it. I wanted to show you that I did that. It just enhances the flavor of the squash. So again, I'm gonna set this aside and we're about ready to put our burgers into the oven. So I just pulled the turkey burgers out of the oven. Note, do not put parchment paper under the broiler. I always forget about that when I make this recipe. So my burgers are done. I'm gonna let them cool for just a moment. I have my marinara that I just warmed up here in the microwave, and I'm gonna put together my dinner, show you my dinner, and give you the smart points. So here is our completed dinner. So on the bottom I have some spaghetti squash, and then I have one of my turkey burger patties kinda of under my marinara here. Topped it with a little bit of the zero point marinara. So the entire dinner is zero points except for the Parmesan cheese on top. And I'm counting that as one point because I put two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. So this entire dinner is one smart point. And I'm telling you, this is delicious. So this is going to be my dessert for tonight. I am having a smart cake parfait. So what is in here is the light and fit lemon meringue yogurt for two smart points this lemon meringue is so good and i pair that with the orange cream smart cake so it's lemon and orange it's delicious for summer the smart cakes the orange cream is a limited edition flavor so if you're interested in smart cakes hop on smartbakingco.com use my code here on the screen you'll get 10 percent off and they do have some free shipping promotions as well. But these little smart cakes are only one smart point. You can't beat it. And then I topped it with a little bit of the fat-free Ready Whip for zero. So two for the yogurt, one for the smart cake. So this entire parfait is three smart points. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW Freestyle. I hope you enjoyed today's video. You got to see my fun little TJ Maxx haul. You'll be seeing a lot of those goodies in my upcoming videos. You got to see a little bit of Diesel and Lola, the infamous dogs of YouTube. So thank you again so much for watching. If you're new, hello and welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I'd love it if you would thumbs up this one. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this What I Eat in a Day. And if you're on board for the recipe, any comments that you want to share, I love hearing from you guys. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.